this is a hugely significant moment. I'm absolutely delighted to see Daisy the Driller complete her 3.1 mile journey from Craigdon to Queen's Park. The Shield Hall Tunnel is part of a £250 million investment package upgrading the wastewater infrastructure in Glasgow. The tunnel itself is about £100 million worth of investment. What the project is going to achieve is it's going to mitigate flooding in parts of Glasgow. It's going to improve the environment, particularly in the uh, River Clyde. Uh, and it's going to enable growth and economic development on, in Glasgow. It's a huge project uh, and it's the biggest wastewater tunnel that has been built in Scotland ever and it's the most significant piece of investment since the wastewater infrastructure in Glasgow was put in in Victorian times. This is great, this is a once in a lifetime uh, piece of engineering that's happened here this evening and uh, in months to come you'll come back and you, this uh, uh, will be underground, won't be seen but it'll be serving such an important uh, service for the city and our customers for future generations. The tunnel itself is 4.7 metres in diameter, that's big enough to drive a double-decker bus through. It's 3.1 miles long, it goes under three of Glasgow's famous parks, Bellhousen Park, Pollock Park and Queen's Park. The tunnel machine that has been named Daisy, it was launched in July 2016 eh, and obviously it's arrived here on the 12th of October 2017. This is a hugely proud moment and I have to say I am really pleased and delighted for everybody that's been involved in developing this scheme from the planning stage through to the implementation stage and that's all of the people in Scottish Water and all of the people in Costain and Vinci who have made this happen on the ground. It's a huge result and I'm really chuffed for them.